What's up campers? What's up? I'm Steve, Beast Mode Camping. I'm here today with my buddy Tony. What's up Tony? Today we're gonna do a review for this easy pop-up tent. It's a Hugh Ling Yang six-person pop-up tent. They advertise it's supposed to be real quick and easy to set up. You're supposed to set it up in seconds. So we're gonna set it up, take a look at it, crawl all through it, check out what it's got to offer, see if this might be the right tent for you. So stick around. Let's check this thing out. This is the Hugh Ling Yang pop-up tent. It's supposed to be real simple and easy. Set up in seconds. The bag that it comes in, this is sort of a spring-loaded kind of thing. So it seems a little big for a small tent because it doesn't pack in so tight like your regular standard tent. It's still pretty compact, very thin, you know, so you can pack this thing anywhere. Got compression straps on it. So you can pack that thing and tighten it up when, you, when you're done. You can even press it down a little bit. Good for carrying it around. That comes unlatched. So let's open it up and check it out. The bag is, is pretty high quality. Zipper seems real smooth. I think a lot of times you really have to use these a lot to really find out how good those zippers really are. So this comes right out of the bag real easy. You can see it has another compression strap on it right here to keep everything together. And that's the main tent. You got a little bag. You check out those neon strings, man. Uh -huh. So I think this is probably your stakes. Yeah, just standard stakes. A little heavy. They're not like your hiking stakes, but they're pretty lightweight. Not too bad. They do advertise this as a camping slash hiking tent, but I don't know about that. It's kind of awkward for hiking, I think. So there's that. Comes with an instruction book. Instructions on how to fold it back up. But I'm going to show you how to do that today anyway. So that's about all that's in the bag. Let's set up the tent. Easy up, they say, right? It does have a safety strap. Keep it from exploding on you while you got it this day. But this thing is springy. It wants to come out like that. So I'm going to take off the safety. Yeah. Well, there you go. Jesus. Okay. What? Let it be. That was pretty easy. Done? I mean, you might have to step back from this thing a little bit when you get ready to set it up. Dang, it, it's spring loaded. It wants out bad. So, initial setup, what, two, three seconds? I think it worked as advertised, but that's not total setup. You still gotta put the stakes in because this thing could just blow away with the wind. I'm gonna go ahead and stake it down so it can take the top of the wood. Regular little steaks. Because of the way these things spring load out, it's probably gonna be a good idea to take these. And rather than coming off to the side with it, come out with it like this to pull that spring apart. You know what I mean? What's up, Steve? A lot of people might not have known this. It took me a minute to figure this out. So just in case you had another, these strings, they're made to put these where you want them. And then if you look at this thing right here, once you got wherever you want it, pull it tight. Took me a minute to figure that one out. <laughs> Maybe I'm just slow. Check this 
that Tony. I really like these day glow strings at night when it gets real dark. So it looks like these will really stand out in the dark. So keep you from tripping over them. It's a two layer tent. I'll show you the inside layer when we get inside. But this is a, a waterproof material. So it's great. Water will just shed right off of it. It has uh, overlaps. tents and that way you can prop that up and get ventilation through the tent there's another one on the other side we can go open that one up pretty cool this has the same type of feature on the front door velcro at the bottom to keep the, the flaps down to keep it uh, better rainproof this opens right up to the vestibule now Tony I have seen some variations on this or maybe it's just an add-on I don't have it with mine but you've got these little tabs you can get a small stick or post and put it on these and it will hold it out like this, like the little pond. Uh, mine didn't come with that. I guess it's a, an accessory. Same thing. You can roll these up, get them out of your way. The vestibule has a screen door on it. Keep the bugs out. <laughs> it comes all the way open. As you can see, we're a little bit dirty. We have used this tent and checked it out thoroughly. This is the vestibule, so it is technically outdoors. It's covered by the outer portion of the tent, the rain fly. This is actually the rain fly. But you can see here, this is just a tarp over here. It's not enclosed. So this bugs could get in here, you know what I mean? And if you look over there on the side, oh, show that again. it's an outer portion of the tent. So this is just the rain fly, it is a two layer tent. The inner portion doesn't touch the outer portion. It keeps, it keeps it better waterproof. So I'm gonna get in here and take off my shoes. <laughs> Here's where you wanna keep the bugs out. You got a screen door, just like the outer door. It has that same, the same latches over here, so if you wanted, you could pull this back, climb on in. Man, this thing's got some space. Look at that. I'm a big guy and I got plenty of room in here. This tent is 12 feet in length, 12 and a half feet, 12.5. It's 8.5 wide and it's about just under four and a half tall. So you can't really stand up in here. You're gonna be on your knees most of the time. Even if I try to stand up, I'm like way down like this. All right, check this out down here. Can close. you get it down there? Yep. Go ahead. There's a little zipper here. You can unzip this. You can like run an extension cord in here or something. Nice. And close it up so you can have power in here if you're at a site that has power. Run it up into there and through here. Zip it up. Up in here. You've got a hook right here. See that? So you can hang a little light here or something. On the windows. It actually has an inner zipper on the inner part so that if you want, you can go through and get to the outer part and unzip it also. I don't know, I guess if it was raining, you could actually reach out and grab your thing and pull it down and without even getting out of the tent. It also has these little uh, mesh pockets. So there's one of those on both sides. 
keep all your stuff. This is actually uh, sealed on the bottom. We've got um, the heat welded seams on here, so it's not gonna leak. It's gonna be real durable, it's not gonna tear apart. I've already used this tent a couple of times, and as you can see, it's still in perfect condition. As far as uh, gear that you're gonna wanna get in here, I've used it as a one-man tent. It doesn't work very well with uh, inflatable mattresses. They pretty much fill up the space, you know? If I was laying here and went to sleep in an inflatable mattress, I'd end up way up here, you know what I mean? As a matter of fact, Hey, Steve. Uh, Steve. Uh, oh, the f you fit in here. Dude. <laughs> you're, you're, my cadaver box. Your bed is all the way to the ceiling. <laughs> oh, that is so kick ass. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, I'm coming. This is Steve's tent. <laughs> This is Steve's tent. He put the, the biggest queen uh, <laughs> pump-up bed you can get in there. You like my robot sheets? I love the robot sheets, Steve. The larger your inflatable mattress, it's just not gonna work at you. Sleeping pad. They're very thin, and you can actually blow these things up with your mouth. You don't even need a compressor or anything. Get you one of these, works way better than those big ones. And quite frankly, I think these are just as comfortable. It just feels like a uh, firm mattress, you know? So it leaves you a lot of extra space in here for all your other gear that you wanna bring in here. And there's plenty of extra room in here for other gear. When I'm camping, I use the vestibule at night. I'll pull my chairs up in here my food and everything, leave it up into here to kind of separate it a little bit, keep it away from the animals. Any other gear, plenty of room in here for it. So you can see one man like this. So I would say realistically three people could sleep very comfortable and still have their gear. So it's not 12, 12 person or? So no, if you had six people in here, I think you, you could probably pull it off. It, maybe it's on top of each other. <laughs> There's a diagram. I, I'll leave a link in the description. You can see where the diagram is. But they're uh, they're short people, and uh, they go head to foot. <laughs> you know? So you're gonna want to be real close with those people. But, uh, anyway, nice, nice and spacious. Not a lot of headroom. A lot of floor space. Well, Tony, I think this is a great tent, man. When I bought this tent, I was looking for something fast and easy because I'm doing more solo camping lately. Big tents, that's for when you got a bunch of people with you. When you're going solo, you just want quick and easy. This thing is quick and easy. I mean, set up in seconds. You saw I put all the stakes in in what? A minute and a half or something like that? So literally, three to five minutes tops if you're moving slow to set this thing up. Awesome. It protects from the rain. I actually had this thing in the rain one time. No issues with leaking at all. The, uh, the vestibule works great for storing, you know, just extra equipment and stuff like that so you don't have to bring it all the way in your tent. The, the windows get great ventilation through it. I mean, it's a great tent. Uh, one drawback to it is it does have a low ceiling. The ceiling is uh, 4.3 feet. So you can't really stand up in it. That's that's the biggest drawback, I think. But the other uh, things, the ease of setup, the ease of breakdown, totally outweighs not being able to stand up in it. I don't spend a lot of time in the tent anyway. So when you're in there sleeping, you know, it is what it is. Also, another drawback is, is you can't really get a good size uh, air mattress in there because of the height space. So I've solved that problem by just using one of the sleep mats. The sleep mats work just as good as the air mattresses when you're alone. And uh, that solved that problem. So you can pick these up on Amazon. I got mine on Amazon for $149.99. Not bad for like, great quality. If you want to get on there and grab one of yours, if you've got Prime, you can get them uh, uh, free delivery. Uh, I couldn't get it overnight delivery. Uh, it took about two or three days or something. I believe that's still what it says up there. Highly recommend this tent. If you want to get one for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description for you. Click that link, check it out. And uh, by the way, it, be sure to click our link. We, we will directly benefit from that. It'll help us give you more videos in the future. So 
do that for us. We appreciate it. about breaking down one of these you say how about this don't get intimidated by all the springy things i know you can't operate the thing that goes in your windshield but this is way easier watch it you pull these things into the center and just grab them by the top like this and you do the same thing on the other side Like that, get on one side of it and get a hold of all these things. And it kind of starts to spin on its own. You let it fold up under it, see if you get on this side, like this, and they fall together. So then you pull all these circles together. Once you've got it down to this point, uh, it should be just a matter of another push and a twist. On it, just a pin it in half like a figure eight. Fold this back on itself like that. And you take your compression strap, move it around the edge. That really helps to hold things together better. You can just take all your straps and just tuck them in. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and check us out.